Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, here with some post-fight comments on Miguel Cotto's victory over Antonio Margarito. The fight was stopped at the end of nine rounds because the doctor determined that Antonio Margarito, due to an injury to his right eye, could not continue. Now, let me read you a quote before I say another word. I understand that some people might have strong feelings about what's going to be said in this video. Here is the quote. I think that he could have continued. I didn't think the eye was that badly damaged where the fight should have been stopped. I've seen fights where a fighter's eye had more damage and the fight continued. I would have liked for the fight to have continued. Now according to BoxingScene.com that quote is from Miguel Cotto's trainer Pedro Diaz. Right? Let me just point out too Antonio Margarito during the fight during the fight on multiple occasions was asked by the doctor how many fingers the doctor had up and each time Antonio Margarito was able to correctly answer the question in other words the evidence is unambiguous in my opinion right the doctor administered tests Antonio Margarito said he can see and then proved he could see. Now, this fight left me a bit unsatisfied. I didn't like the ending. I'll be blunt. You know, I saw the first Powell Wolak Delvin Rodriguez fight. I thought it was clear in that fight that Wolak's eye was much worse, much worse than uh, Antonio Margarito's eye was, right? Go back and look at films of Carmine Basilio against uh, Ray Robinson. You know, quite frankly, I think it's obvious to everyone that Carmine Basilio couldn't see through one eye at parts of that fight. Look at the Marcus Maidana fight against Eric Morales. Eric Morales' eye is in worse shape than Antonio Margarito's eye was. Right? And so all I could say is this. This is boxing even in the arts, right? What's boxing folklore? Um, I believe it was 1976 movie of the year, Rocky, even in Rocky. Rocky says to his corner man, I can't see, cut me, right? Because of course, that's the way boxing was, right? Um, you know, now let's just say this. I understand that Margarito had a broken orbital bone after the Manny Pacquiao fight and I understand that he also had cataract surgery different surgery right he had multi multiple surgical procedures on the eye but the New York State Athletic Commission actually had Margarito's eye independently examined before the fight and Margarito was given a clean bill of health now during the fight Yes, the eye got swollen, but Margarito established by passing the doctor's test that he could see out of the eye, right? It'd be different if Margarito couldn't see out of the eye, but Margarito established that he could. Let me also say this. If you look at the CompuBox numbers, you're going to see that in round nine, the last completed round, right? The fight went nine rounds. In round nine, did you know that Antonio Margarito landed the second highest percentage of punches that he had landed the entire fight? It's only the third round when he lands 27% of his punches that he surpasses the total the 26 percent that he landed in the ninth round also you know this fight has other problems 
You have three judges. Now, I'm not here to say that Margarito was winning the fight. I didn't think he was on the scorecards at that point. But you have three judges who each gave Margarito a round in this fight, and yet they're different rounds. Right? If Antonio Margarito is doing well enough that judges in three different rounds think that he's won that round, right? And if he's fighting a guy who he had already beaten in a war of attrition after losing the first half of the fight, how do you stop this fight? You know, let me just say, this fight reminds me of the Amir Khan Paul McCluskey fight. Let me just say this. Anyone who saw the first fight knew, we all knew, that Miguel Cotto had superior hand speed to Antonio Margarito. We all knew that Miguel Cotto was a faster starter than Antonio Margarito. We all knew that Miguel Cotto had superior foot speed to Margarito. We all knew, even Margarito's corner, I'm sure, wouldn't dispute, that Miguel Cotto dominated the first half of their first fight. If you're an Antonio Margarito supporter, you understood that your guy was probably going to have to come from behind. This is the, the tortoise and the hare, right? You understood that Miguel Cotto was going to be fighting before a pro Miguel Cotto crowd. You understood the crowd would be with Cotto early, right? You understood that if the rounds were close, Miguel Cotto would probably get those rounds. We even knew, based on the CompuBox numbers for the first fight, that Miguel Cotto was a much more accurate puncher than Antonio Margarito, right? So if you believed in Margarito, you believe that Margarito was going to overcome the disadvantages I've just mentioned in hand speed and foot speed and crowd and accuracy. You understood that he had that against him and you thought he was going to just like he did in the first fight. We're down Miguel Cotto. Right? That was the thinking. And so for the doctor at the end of multiple rounds multiple rounds after Cotto had trained in high altitude to accentuate his stamina for the doctor at the end of multiple rounds to be checking on Cotto's eye and excuse me on uh, Margarito's eye and for Margarito to have to continually tell the doctor yes I can see and you have two fingers up or three fingers up you know at the end of multiple rounds when Margarito should have been able to turn to his trainer Roberto Garcia and then talk about strategy and see what they're gonna do next when you have a setup where the doctor is intruding as much as this doctor is intruding the outcome quite frankly is gonna be unsatisfying let me just say at no time in this fight and I mean at no time in this fight was either fighter staggered you know it wasn't like either guy was close to being knocked out both of them had you know interesting flurries but neither guy was close to being knocked out right Margarito according to CompuBox forget what I say according to CompuBox he throws 73 punches in round 8 in round 9 he throws 98 punches lands them at a higher percentage than in round 8 or round 7 or round 6 or round 5 right this is the part of the fight where if you're a margarito believer you've been waiting for right this is the part of the fight where Miguel Cotto is either going to show you that he has improved his game over the first fight or he's going to show you that he hasn't. We were just entering 
that part of the fight. Keep in mind, it's a 12-round fight. They stopped it before the 10th, 11th, and 12th round. You still had 25% of this fight to go. And let me just say, both guys were landing punches. Look at Margarito's eye after the end of this fight, right? It's swollen. I'm not here to say otherwise. But I want you to also look at Miguel Cotto's face. I have a portion of his post-fight press conference. Take a look at his face. It's on my channel page right now. As I make this video, I'll leave it in my favorites. Just when you go to the channel page, just look in the favorites. For the next week, so you can take a look at it. Cotto seemed to feel that his face was in better shape than after the first fight. Was it? You see markings all over the top of his face. He looks banged up. He had been hit in the fight. And let's remember, the first fight, a lot of that damage was done in the last two rounds of that first fight. We didn't even get an opportunity to get to that point here. Right? So Cotto is getting hit. Right? For those who haven't seen the fight, it's literally a carbon copy of the first fight. There are some differences. Right? Cotto is prepared for Margarito's uppercut. Margarito wasn't able to land as many uppercuts. Cotto skillfully moves his hands down around his chest area at times to block Margarito's uppercut. Also, Cotto managed distance a little bit better. He's the shorter man. When Margarito gets inside, Cotto subtly bends forward a bit, right? So he's harder to hit, and he's a little bit outside of where Margarito would like him to be, right? Also, Cotto skillfully, the entire fight, is using foot movement, and he's moving right and left. You can't tell which way he's going to go. Also, Cotto, this fight... <clears throat> is targeting Margarito's eye with both hands, right? Even his right hand, he shoots it across to hit Margarito in his eye, right? The bad eye, the eye that lines up opposite Cotto's left hand, which is his dominant hand, right? It's Cotto's, it's Margarito's right eye, I believe, lines up perfectly with Miguel Cotto's power hand, right? So Cotto is fighting a little bit better than he did the first fight. But Margarito's coming forward. He's the aggressor the entire fight. Combubac's numbers tell us that he threw something like 700 punches through nine rounds, right? And so the uh, point is, yeah, he threw 700 punches through nine rounds. Contrast that with Miguel Cotto throwing less than 500 punches through nine rounds. We were just getting, just getting, to the meat and potatoes part of the fight. And so for this fight to end the way it did left me unsatisfied. Let me also say this from a betting perspective. Gamblers like myself, I thought Margarito would win the fight. Gamblers like myself who took the straddle I recommended, the under 10 and a half rounds, actually made money. Right, that under 10 and a half rounds, at least at the time I took it, was a plus 130. And this fight finished inside of that. Let me also say that Miguel Cotto, by KO as a straddle, actually delivered for you. Because technically this is a Cotto TKO. Now I've gotten a lot of emails from people saying, hey, your advice was reckless because the outcome you said to eliminate Miguel Cotto by decision could well have happened since Cotto was ahead on the judges scorecards at the time of the stoppage. Let me just say this. When you're at a casino, you don't go to the counter and say, <clears throat> I could have won if these things had happened. Right? That's not the way gambling works. The bottom line is, if you took Cotto by KO as a straddle, or if you took the under 10 and a half rounds, which I recommended as a straddle, you actually made money. Cotto was the favorite in this fight. Margarito went off between plus 150 and plus 190. Cotto, I believe, was something like a minus 200. 
right? You actually did okay if you got the plus 130 on the under 10 and a half round straddle. So my griping here really has nothing to do with uh, gambling since gamblers profited off of this fight. But um, let me just say, this is boxing. It's not horseshoes. Guys get hit. Guys get swollen, right? We should expect guys in fights to get swollen. So there shouldn't be a different standard for guys who have been cleared to fight, who have, you know, uh, had cataract surgery, if they've been cleared to fight by the Boxing Commission. Right? That's not the way it goes. We've had great fighters. Ray Leonard, for example, uh, fight with rebuilt retinas. Right? If the doctor is going to give you a test during the fight to see if you could see, and you establish that you can see, in my opinion, the doctor is exceeding his authority if he then decides to stop the fight. I mean, why give Margarito the test? Why give him the test? If, when he passes the test, you're going to stop the fight anyway. Also, if you know Margarito won the first fight and he's thrown more than 200 punches than his opponent in the second fight and that the ninth round is actually one of his better rounds and he can see what exactly is the logic of stopping a fight in which he's never even been staggered. So, um, hate to say it, it was a rough weekend for boxing. I thought the Derek Chisora, uh, Robert Hellenius decision was awful. And I thought the stoppage here was a bad stoppage. Maybe it was well intended. But this stoppage really reeked to me of the, um, you know, Steve Cunningham stoppage in his last fight at Cruiserweight. Uh, the doctor was just a little bit too enthusiastic to stop the fight. I thought that, you know, uh, what he did, in essence, was stop the fight right when there was going to be a moment of truth in the fight. Maybe Cotto goes on to pass with flying colors that moment of truth. Maybe. But we never got to that moment in this fight. All we saw was a quick starter, start quickly, just like Amir Khan did against Paul McCluskey, right? He has the lead, just like he did in the first fight that he lost, right? He had the lead. He's getting hit with punches. Don't believe me. Look at his face after the fight. And then, of course, the fight got stopped prematurely. I hope HBO and other outlets show this fight this coming weekend so the public can take a look at it. Um, I understand it was a big win for Miguel Cotto. Quite frankly, it was a premature win for Miguel Cotto. We still have no evidence, and I mean no evidence, that Antonio Margarito couldn't see out of his eye. And if he could see out of his eye, he should have been allowed to continue, right? The stakes are simply too high. This is championship boxing. People paid too much money to see some doctor hop in the ring, right, give a fighter a test that the fighter passes, and then say to the fighter, I'm not going to allow you to continue. The doctor, by the way, was so out of his league that even veteran referee Steve Smoger was looking at him as he left the ring, unsure of whether the doctor had stopped the fight, right? There seems to have been a miscommunication between the referee who, ironically, was the referee for Powell Wolak, Delvin Rodriguez won a fight he let go to the distance, right? You know, there was a miscommunication between the doctor and the referee. Let me also point out, too, this idea in a war of attrition that a doctor is going to cause a delay in the action multiple times between multiple rounds was simply ridiculous. Um, I thought the doctor overstepped his bounds. I thought that he robbed us of the best moments of the fight, which laid ahead of when this fight was stopped. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. And all I could say is both trainers agree. This fight was stopped prematurely. What do you think? Thanks for watching.